and these are items that have been selling extremely well for us right now and have made us a ton of profit. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some of the items that are selling right now for us and making us a ton of profit. Now, another area that I do love, and I do tend to buy them, especially when it's a big lot of music boxes. Now, it's an Anne Rie figure and box, but the workings itself are by Thorne, and it plays Laura's theme, the song itself. It's a really nice, cute one. It's been up for a little while. We bought a massive assortment, an entire collection from a huge estate, and we sold a bunch of them right away. This one went for 45 bucks plus shipping on it. The time of the year doesn't seem to matter on certain items that we sell, mostly the collectibles and more niche-related items. Right here is a card, and it's advertising Platt & Company Oysters. It was from Baltimore, and it's made to look like a tray of oysters. You've got the lining grape leaf on the bottom. There's a lemon. There's even an oyster fork, I guess that would be called there also. Uh, it's really an interesting piece. We got 60 bucks out of it. Now, I have literally a few cents into it, I would guess. The purchase of this item was done in a massive assortment, and we've sold a bunch out of it. It's all profit at this point, less eBay fees. Here's yet another one. Now, I'm not big into sports collectibles at all. I don't really mess with too many sports-related cards, unless they're early, uh, pre-1900, or, say, advertising pieces. Love early advertising pieces. This is from a series, I believe. There's five or six cards to the set. And most all of these are for Merchant Gargling Oil, which was like a quack medicine of the day. This one sold for $32 and some change. The person who bought this one bought another card as well, so all told, this person spent almost $100 on two cards from us. Now, I love early Bibles, and they do sell, not super, super quick, depending on the version of the Bible. This is an 1849 Bible by New York American Bible Society. It's a leather-bound version also. It is complete. It's in decent condition for its age. It's been up for a little while. I paid a dollar for a whole bunch of religious-oriented books Geez, it's been a while now. I couldn't even tell you the, the, how long we've had it. But the point is, I have almost nothing into this. We bought a bunch at the same time. So once again, this is about all profit, less eBay fees. Now, poster-wise, we've been doing phenomenally well, not just on eBay, but in other platforms as well. It seems these posters have started to take off, and we're able to sell quite a few of them, multiples on any given day, it seems like, sometimes as well. This is Yo La Tango stuff like that there and that's the poster this is this is from a record shop we bought 50 60 pounds on several occasions of just their leftover junk in the back room average price 20 to 50 bucks we're getting a piece for these posters here's yet another one paramore now we've sold several of these across multiple platforms it's an original one i would guess from the 90s this one went for 36 dollars plus shipping here's yet another one this is the last shadow puppets now i've got multiple multiples of this one on many different places we've probably sold a half a dozen of just this poster here for 20 plus bucks right off the bat and here's yet just another one big thief and masterpiece We've sold hundreds of these posters, made thousands and thousands of dollars just by grabbing these up. The initial purchase itself was like 50 bucks or something for poundages and poundages of posters. Now, I do love vintage model train items and related stuff that goes along with it. This is a lot of mostly Lionel-sized figures. It's quite an assortment, um, typical example of what you would find. We bought it in a massive, huge purchase of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of various types of vintage train related items as well as toys in general now i sold this lot here shipped out the door for thirty dollars and some change i have literally once again nothing into it we sold a few items out of that purchase right off the bat and it got us all of our money back now i love records most of the time i'm able to pick up records for less than a quarter a piece if they're in bulk usually down to two or three cents a piece if i'm buying five 10,000 records, and in some cases, 
cases, I may pay a dollar or so a record, depending on the rarity and scarcity of them. I usually do grab up foreign imports. Now, these are all from the UK, United Kingdom here. You can tell by the tri-center on this one and the quad center on this one. You could pop out the center piece and you could play it on a normal US 45 spindle. And that's the key to some of these. So they could be played anywhere you wanted. Otherwise, you just play them with the 33 spindle that's already on every turntable out there. Now, this lot did sell for $34.50. I literally maybe have a quarter piece, as is typical, like I said, into each one of these four records. So this is about a dollar investment, and it's selling for $34.50, plus they paid for shipping. Now, here's a 78 record, which I honestly and sincerely do love. A lot of people don't mess with it, so usually I can get these for a dollar or less per disc. If I buy them in massive bulk, I can even reduce that greatly. We just picked up about a 3,000 disc lot for free. It was given away. They just wanted to give it to somebody who was going to do something with it before it hit the dump. This is just a prime example of one of those sorts of things we pick up all the time. This is a bopper, a country bopper. It's on a borderline of a rockabilly. This is from a Detroit label. Fortune is out of Detroit. This one we got 70 bucks, which included shipping in this case. It's been up for a little while. Not a huge, well-sought-after disc, but it's still fairly scarce by Jeff Durham and its Tennessee Bounce. Now, I do love and buy a ton of vintage jewelry. Whether it's silver or gold or just costume jewelry, if it's old enough, I do grab it up. And this is a nice example from the 40s or 50s. Nice mod tennis bracelet. It's just rhinestones with, I would imagine, plating on it. It sold for $22 plus shipping. Well worth it. I've got almost nothing into it. It was bought from a big bag of jewelry acquired from an auction. Now, another area we've done extremely well with are parts and pieces from like home remodeling and window stuff. Around here, there are some places that do sell all these leftover pieces for almost nothing. If you've got the time and the patience to photograph them, dig up the color, what they go to, and things like that, you can do pretty well with these. Now, I have nothing into this piece once again. We purchased a huge assortment. Now, this one sold for $14 plus some change, I do believe, plus shipping. I have literally nothing into these sorts of items. They're easy to get. Most people assume there isn't much value in these. It's just a couple of parts. You'd have to have the vintage window this went to. You'd have to have the exact same color. You'd have to have the need for this. Now, I do love Christmas and photo related items in general. These are some Christmas photos of a family and it's over many different years. You can see the progression of the family as well. It's actually a nice set. This set here sold for $45 plus shipping. It's been up for a little while. I bought it in a massive bulk purchase. It actually came with a whole bunch of postcards. Now one of my favorite areas and an area that makes us thousands of dollars every single month, month in and month out for several years at this point, are buttons, old uniform buttons. And here's a really nice example of a Army Staff Officer's button from the Republic of Argentina. This would date to the 1870s or 80s. This one here, we got 55 bucks plus they paid for shipping at the end of the day. It's a really nice, interesting button. It was made in Germany. You can tell by the wording on the back as well. Germany was a big hub. They did produce buttons for other countries, as did our country also. Now, here's an interesting one as well. This one sold for 60 bucks right here. This is the Illinois Institution for the Deaf and Dumb. Most states had some state-sponsored for whether you were vision impaired or hearing impaired or whatever the case may be, there was organizations in each state. So this is not an odd subject. You'll see postcards and such items just like that as well. Now this is another one of those items I have literally nothing into. We buy buttons by the pound. I've been buying buttons for probably 20 plus years, and we constantly are grabbing them up all over the place. Now, here's yet another one. This is a button for an organization of bicyclists. This is the League of American Wheelmen. It's a bike club, basically penny farthings. In the background of this is a wheel of a bike with the spokes. You can see the wings. That was a, a common symbol you would see for things along that line. Now, the person who bought this one bought every one of these type of buttons that I had in stock, every single one. And I had sold nine of these. So if you check on Terra Peak, you're going to see nine of these selling in the same time frame, all with my titles. 
Here's just another example, just to give you another idea. Now we got right at the $200 mark for those nine buttons. Again, it was purchased in big bulk. It was purchased quite some time ago. It's long since been paid for. So at this point, nearly all of that $200 sale is profit, less eBay fees. And here's yet one last example. Now, I don't like to list items under, say, 15 bucks these days. Now, buttons are a little different story if I have multiples of the same one. There's other items that you can do this with as well, but people will want to have them to replace buttons on uniforms, or in many cases, people find jackets and uniform pieces that someone's cut off all the buttons just to sell the buttons, thinking that that'll be the best route. Now, in this case here, I believe we sold them for $5.99 a piece, so roughly $60 because this person wanted them all. They were going to replace them on a uniform or something along that line. This is one of the few areas that I have no problem whatsoever listing items down to 10 bucks and even taking much less than that. Again, if they're more common stuff, stuff that wouldn't move any other way. And I say that because they constantly sell. There is a huge customer base of people looking to replace specific buttons off uniforms. It's one of the areas as well that I'll list much newer items. Buttons all the way up into the, say, the Vietnam War era. Because once again, people want the same button that goes on their uniform. If uh, there's a uniform collector, again, they'll want buttons that are from the right time frame that all match. Most uniforms out there, the buttons need to match for you to get the top dollar out of them. Because buttons disappear and some people sometimes just replace a button with whatever they can find. And that's again why we make thousands of dollars every single month for years just selling uniform buttons of various types. We have thousands of listings of just buttons up because of that as well. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. <laughs>